Mark Yates and Mark, uh, final pre-season game tonight away at Redditch. Yeah. I suppose you're virtually there in terms of having come through the pre-season, no major injuries, and that's got to be one of the big bonuses. Yeah, we, we've got pretty much a clean bill of health. We'll see how Matty is today. He did a bit with the physios yesterday. And it's gearing up for Saturday. We're not going to play. Um, we're not going to take everybody like I thought we might do Saturday after the game. Um, we're going to give the boys who, who need some game time. We're going to carry on with our bigger plan. You know, Saturday was not not what we wanted, but but also just a little reminder that what we need to do better. So we've, it's given us a nice clear week to, to get some real work into into you know probably more likely the ones of the, the 14 or 15 that we're going to play. The rest can get some game time and we can. <laughs> <laughs> Craig there. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> he's done well there. Um, I, I just and, and you know it, it's the bigger picture. It's not it's not a, a reaction to Kidderminster. You know we didn't we didn't like I said we didn't play as well as we wanted. Um, and it just means we've got plenty to work on and we can do that this week. How big a decision was it not to just say um, right go out there and do it again and, and prove me wrong? Yeah, I, I've been pleased with you know with. 80% of pre-season, you know, the work rate that they've put in has been excellent. We did work hard on Thursday and Friday building up to Kidderminster, which we, you know, probably might not have done, but that, that's, you know, I'm, I'm not using that as an excuse. We we weren't as good as we wanted to be. Um, but the bigger picture, they've worked really hard. They've got a good spirit about them. Still one or two short, you know, and that's, and that's, you know, down to me. I've tried and tried and tried to get the ones I want. Missed out on a couple that, that we know about, and, and I'm still actively trying to do something about it now. Whether we'll have another one or two for Saturday remains to be seen. If not, the, the thing with January, with January, with August being right through to the end of the month in terms of the transfer window, you know, one or two play, more players will become available further down the month, down the, throughout the month, that are with their clubs and. You know, involved at the moment, but might not be in a couple of weeks' time. And is that a time actually you can get a better player than perhaps yeah, that's available? Yeah, I, I don't want to just jump. I'm happy. Listen, I'm happy going into Saturday, going into the first two weeks of the season with what I've got, no problem. Um, you know, we've got 21. We've, we've said a couple of the young boys might not be quite ready, but that doesn't mean they won't be you know, get time on the bench. And, and you know, they're, they're, they're here to push the, the, the senior pros. Um, I'm happy with the squad. I, I think we need more, without a doubt. And I've, you know. I've been on record as saying that for the last couple of weeks. Just the ones I've been after, I haven't been able to get, and I, and I don't want to just jump in willy nilly. I, th I think I've got more than enough for the first couple of weeks. And we'll, we'll add, we'll try and add strength to get. I don't want to bring people who are going to be in my, my squad. I need people who are going to go straight into my team. And, and as we speak, I haven't been able to get those those couple in. You wanted smiles on the faces. Yeah. Have you got that? We've had that bar Saturday, and and I didn't want smiles on our faces Saturday. Um, what I got from the players yesterday was was putting back in credit with me for for Saturday. And you don't read anything to pre-season. You know, whether you win all your games or lose all your games. I've just been listening to the radio and, um, on the way down here and managers talking, you know, Premier League managers talking about what they did, what they've done in pre-season, you know, over the years and, and how that relates to the season. It's all, on Saturday we didn't lose three points, which was a good thing. Um, we, we, we didn't want to play like that, but we but it happened and, and now it gives us something to work on. Um, as have all the games, I think they've all, we've had some tough games, no easy ones at all. Um, and we're going we're to get that in the league on Saturday, on every weekend, so it's, it's going to stand us in good stead for that. Cheers, Mark. Thank you. Cheers, Paul. Mark, what, what did they do yesterday that got them back in credit? You know, just the way they worked in training, was well, it? The way they worked, John, yeah. I, I just, we just thought we didn't work hard enough Saturday and, and, and we don't want that. We, we, and, and as long as they show me that, that they got the ability to put that right and the willingness to put that right. But ultimately, they've got to do it on a Saturday. You know, I don't want to be talking. I don't want to be putting things right on a Monday. I want to be, you know, working on the next week's game. So we, we, they got back in a little bit of credit with me for Saturday. So we're all we're all ready to go this weekend. Um, and, and the bigger picture is, you know, we've come through. We, if we look at it, players have played 90 minutes a lot more than they've done in previous pre-seasons for us. We've done things slightly differently. They've worked, we've got some real good tough work into them. We've got a, we've, we've we've tried a different couple of shapes. You know, we, we've played a couple of different formations, various various games, and and it's given us something to work on throughout the season. You know, it's not all about Berry. It's not all about being 
everything ready for, for the first game of the season. It's about being as ready as you can be with what you've got. And obviously adding to that, like I said, and, and, and working on things as, as we go. And, and that's that's always been the plan. And that would always that's that's the plan for the for the forty six games for the rest of the season. Yeah. Would you say it's unlikely now then that someone anyone else is going to be coming? I, in I, I thought I might have had one yesterday. Didn't. I, today's my last day, really. You know, I don't really want to just throw somebody in Friday. So today's my last day. If I can try and get the one in, I want. Um, I, I, I'm not sure it's going to happen. But like I said, I'm, I'm more than happy with what I've got. I've got more than enough bodies and, and good players to be able to go to Berry. And it's going to be a tough game, by the way. Um, they're a good side. And go and do ourselves proud, do ourselves justice, and, and set us up for a decent season. That's what we're after. Um, whoever I pick, whatever formation we pick, I have no doubt that they can go there and do a good job. Yeah. Will you go with the young goalkeeper on the bench at the moment? As yeah, it at the yeah, moment? Harry. yeah, I think Harry's done really well pre season. We've got some um, good experience working with Trevor and whoever we've brought in. We haven't been able to get the one. The right deal that we've wanted on a couple of at the moment. So I think rather than me rush and take anything, you know, look, you look at Harry. He's a good, imposing size. He's done well for youth team games, and it would be, a, you know, as, as a he'd be on the bench. He'll be back in Trevor. Look, he'll be working with Trevor. It just gives that a little bit of continuity right now. Um, and as I said, we've got a month to to try and com, you know complete where we're going to go. There's lots of players out there, but it's just. Like, jigs, like pieces of the jigsaw and I don't want to do one thing and then that mess with something else up so I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with Harry sitting on my bench for a couple of games um, he's, a, he's a great kid and, and it'll, it'll do him the world of good as well yeah we didn't mention Joe Curtis on Saturday has he, has he left yeah, the club now? yeah he won't yeah we've I've, Joe's decent um, looks you know promising but I've got too many promising youngsters so I need people who are going to go and affect my team who are going to go and get in that starting eleven. And, and really put the marker down for that. And and, I, and Joe, Joe had a bit of an injury last year. It's probably a little bit behind what I really need. But, but that said, he's, you know, he's a good, good player. And if we'd have had the space to keep him, you know, perhaps I might have done. But it's just, you know, we've got what we've got, what we got, and we're going to work. Like I said, I need people who are going to go straight into my team. And yeah. that's that's the challenge that I've got to try and bring those in. Yeah. Is there is there funds left to sign players? Yeah, we've got, go bit, we've got a little bit left on the budget. Yeah, and I've I've got a tr that's you know. That's always been the case, the balancing act of what you've got and trying to bring in the best you can. And, um, I still want another two two players to to compete for the eleven and a, and a, and a backup keeper, so that's where I'm, I'm looking. At. Yeah. at the moment, do you know your team for Saturday or is there still a few big decisions um, you've got to make? Yeah, the no, there's still, there's still a couple of, I know I'm going to play, I know I'm going to, how we're going to set up and how we're going to go and approach the game. That said, I'm... Still open on a couple of positions, so you know, I don't want to close anyone off. I'm probably picking from about 14 or 15 as on a, as on Monday, uh, as, as of today, Tuesday, before a, before a Saturday. Um, and the others will be fighting for, for the sub spots um, and, and getting themselves ready for, like I said, 46 games, everyone's going to play their part. Yep. Cheers, Mark. Thanks, All right. Thanks, thank you.